Hey, how you doing? Austin here. In this video, we're going to be talking about Shiba Inu. We're going to talk about what I'm seeing in the overall market, the fact that Shiba Inu is looking really, really good right now. I really like what I'm seeing. We're going to talk about that. I think we've got some really good momentum behind us, and uh, we're going to have an overall discussion as always. You guys know that I'm a huge supporter of SHIB and love covering it, so I appreciate you. Thank you for your support of myself, my channel, my videos. I greatly appreciate you. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Got to give you a commercial real quickly on my Patreon group. Here's the real thing. I want to help people. People that need help, I want to help you. And so with that, that's really the reason I created this. So with my Patreon group, you have direct access to me. Right, You can click at the link in the description below or the top comment below. You can see this. And then you click there. There's a little show more right here and you can see all these benefits. You get direct access to me. I help you with my portfolio guidance. Um, I give you portfolio guidance on your portfolio. <laughs> um, and I spent like three hours doing this yesterday. I love helping people kind of nudging you in the right direction and looking at what you have and just giving you guidance where I, where I think I can and all that. That kind of stuff. You also get to see my portfolio, what I'm buying when I sell. Like in the last two days, I have sold positions in certain coins and moved uh, the money into different uh, into different coins, things like that. You see everything. You understand why I'm doing that. All that kind of stuff. That's buy and sell trade alerts. Also give you hot crypto alerts. Okay. Here's the thing. You also get access to the to the Discord. Here's what I would tell you. Here's the thing. You can join and cancel. I think I'm going to say here's the thing about four more times. You can join and cancel at any time. I talk about this in every video because I know there are people that want and need help and that's what I want to do. I want to help the people who need and want help. That's why I talk about this in every video. All right. So SHIB, looking really, really good. Here's what I'm really seeing, guys. I'm really seeing since we have a lack of catalysts, okay, for SHIB, meaning like literally there's not a lot going on from a catalyst standpoint, I love what I'm seeing with SHIB. Okay, it is absolutely standing on its own two feet. It has established itself as a dominant community slash meme coin. Yes, token rather, excuse me. Yes, I know there's way more to SHIB than just that. I mean, we have Shiba Swap, we got, you know, Shibarium coming, we've got everything, you know, the NFT marketplace, we've got so much more. It has evolved. But my, my point to you is this is that I love what I'm seeing, okay? Drop in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you love the direction that SHIB's heading? Do you like where the devs are taking us? Do you like the roadmap that the devs have put out there for us with everything they're gonna be doing with their own blockchain, NFT marketplace, uh, the incubator? There's other things, right? Do you like where they're headed? I want, yes or no, give me your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below, okay? Now, from a price action standpoint, I love what I'm seeing, okay? Yeah, we're ranked number 42, but here's the thing. Everything else is on fire right now as well, okay? The, the overall market's doing really well, which brings me back to kind of what I love about this is that this move is, in my mind, completely free. What I mean by that, it's completely free for Shiba Inu because it's free, it, it's a it's a drag along factor with the overall market. It's not because we had some big catalyst just for Shiba Inu. It was a one time event, and what it's showing me is 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 that because the overall market is moving up. I mean, you got Bitcoin now over forty eight four. You got Ethereum kind of continuing to run do its thing, right? Cardano's on a tear, right? And I love Cardano. But it, it, what it's showing me is that we have a lot of money coming back into crypto and has been flowing back big time. And a lot of it, a lot of it is flowing into, uh, you know, coins like Dogecoin and, and, and Shiba Inu, which, by the way, those are the only two community coins in the top 100, by the way, if you didn't know that. OK, so this is a good thing. OK, this is a good thing because it shows it shows strength and confidence in SHIB overall outside of some catalyst like, like Webull or Coinbase or whatever it may be. It shows broader market acceptance for SHIB and broader mark, broader, you know, just broader demand and broader support, if you will, for SHIB. The fact that it's doing this, okay? Because if it, here's the thing, again, it, why am I saying that a lot today? I'm saying that a lot today. Here's the thing. Stop it, Austin. Okay. It's 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 just an overall vote of confidence for Shiba Inu, what I'm seeing. Okay. All right. I got you got that. All right. Let's look at holders. I think holders are definitely continuing to grow. Uh, yeah, we went from 635 to 636. There's about there's about 1,200. 
Uh, let me update EtherScan and let me see, get the latest on that. Um, yeah, let's see. It's not, that can't be the right number. There it is. 637. So the real number, the real number here is 637, 635. So yeah, again, 1,500 to 2,000 new holders a day. This goes back directly to what I was talking about. It's those brand new holders every single day that are coming in that are helping to continue to A, keep SHIB where it's at. At, a, at some really nice price points and continuing to B, help it to move up, okay? And that's what I like what I'm seeing. I mean, we've established now, you know, and no, I'm not gonna do some in-depth technical analysis. You guys know I don't really do that per se on my videos. Uh, we've established that, you know, we, we're, we're moving up and we're starting to get back to, from, the, from this drop that we had, starting to reestablish some higher highs and higher lows. Yes, I realize that it's not higher highs and higher lows as compared to where it was, okay? But what I'm liking is that we have some, some, some significant movement forward. We're getting some large green candlestick action with not as large corresponding red candlestick action, which tells me we've got, you know, we, we're starting to maybe get a little bit more momentum behind us. Uh, it's those holders coming in, the new holders coming in, putting in money, existing holders buying even more into their positions, things of that nature. So I like what I'm seeing here. I mean, look at some of these, like this hand candlestick, obviously offset with a red one, but we had a good one here. Nice run up here. Pretty small red action. So it's not, you know, it's not signifying major blocks moving. Uh, this was probably some small profit taking, but then you have some nice, two really nice green candlesticks here. And our positive momentum and not as you know and not as big of a corresponding red offset so continuing to maybe again stair step higher highs higher lows and moving us back up to get beyond you know back into those high nines and then take over right take over that hundred that hundred thousand spot right now this eight is sitting in the million spot we want to get back to here uh our all-time highs when we had a three in the hundred thousand spot Okay, and that was back in uh, in May, uh, early May, when I actually started covering SHIB, which seems like a lifetime ago, okay? Um, so we've got on Twitter, we know this, I covered this yesterday, we've got the official kind of Weeble thing that, that's happening there, um, and that's going to be, it's not noted in this, in this particular piece of content, but it's going to be uh, September 6th. Yes, September 6th is officially when I've heard uh, people on Webull are being told that it will be out of beta, which is really where it's at. See, it's in beta testing right here. See where my mouse is. It's out of beta testing, and it's going to be going into full production, I think, on September 6th, barring any issues like that. Let's take a look at the overall crypto fear and greed index. Yeah, we're still right where I like us to be. I like this 70 uh, because this shows a really nice level of, in their word, greed. I think of it in more of a, of a confidence number. I think of this more as the fear and confidence index um, because if we start to get too much greed and get over down here in the really, really green is that, is that we get a little bit too confident and we can, we can uh, have our hands slapped, if you will, and then start a, a, you know, a trend back, right? We'll get us, we could trigger, we could trigger a sell-off. So I like us being kind of in this uh, 70 to 72, maybe high 60s, you know, kind of in this right here, this area is really kind of where I like us to be. So to me, that feels like we're right, we're right kind of where we need to be from the standpoint of the overall fear and confidence index. And for those of you guys wondering, yes, um, been was doing some shopping for my son for uh, some clothes for him to back to school and stuff like that. It's a brand called Legends, and no, this video is not from not being sponsored by Legends. <laughs> I was shopping for tires one day. You guys called me out on that as well. It was funny. Uh, I bought a new truck. And so uh, there you go. All right. So I'm going to end on that note. We're looking really, really good. I like what I'm seeing. I'll see you later. Take it easy. Thank you for your support. Later. Bye.